Right now. Oh, excuse me. Don't touch the camera. Don't touch the camera. Let go of me. So this is what we call a bounce. Um, so this is where we're going to approach somebody um, at the centre of our story who we want to ask some questions, but we know that that person isn't going to want to speak to us. Um, and Thea was one of those people. Thea, Dimity Clancy from A Current Affair. We've come to talk to you about your grandmother's home. You were trusted to take care of your grandmother's home and instead it's trashed. So Shirley um, owned a home um, that was left in the care of her granddaughter, Thea. Um, Shirley, elderly, with dementia. Her son, Merrick, contacted us. Before Merrick's eyes, he would tell you that she was just trashing it. She was having anyone over, you know, and, and trashing it in whatever way she could. Um, and that was breaking his heart, and he, he wanted to put a stop to that. And what did you love about your home? That it was home. Things in there were things that I cherished. Um, that was home. We had some terrible video of, um, of the house in absolute ruins. It is an absolute disgrace. It is shambles. It's been raped, pillied, plundered. Every room of the house is trashed. You had holes in the walls, needles on the ground. There was just stuff everywhere. There's still smashed windows. There's um, no front door. It's in three pieces in the front yard when I left there the other day. It was really important for Merrick to, um, to hold Thea to account um, in what she was doing to her grandmother's home. And that's where we came in. Have you sold your grandmother's jewellery, Thea? What's happened to your grandmother's wedding rings? Can you go away? Can you understand that that means a lot to your grandmother? Of course I can understand that. Obviously we caught her completely off guard. Um, she didn't know what to say, but it was when I asked a question about her deceased mum that got to Thea. And she turned around to me and I remember her looking at me in the eyes. And it all happened quickly, but she looked at me and then she just grabbed my throat and jolted my head back. Listen, listen to me. Don't touch me. You listen to me. Don't, don't you touch speak me. about my mother. Do you understand? Don't come up to me and mention my mother oh, to me. Go. Do you understand? I understand. So f off, right go. now. Excuse me. I remained calm, but you know, my sound recorders afterwards said I went white. Um, and I think you do. I think that any sort of fear is going to come over you. Um, and we were shaken afterwards. We just kind of regrouped as a crew. Um, so we always have a, a journalist, a sound recordist, a cameraman, and sometimes a producer. And we all just regrouped. We just made sure that everybody was okay, um, and we, in which we were, and that was lucky. It's not about me at the end of the day. It's not about me. It's about my mum and her house, and I made an oath to look after it, and, and I'm failing at it, and I've got to try and fix it. People who don't want to answer your questions can do anything, but it's our job to, to ask questions. It's our job to, um, to find the truth out for someone, to find out why for a family, um, and that's exactly just what we were doing that day. Um, and at the end of the day, we were fighting for an elderly woman who was sitting in a nursing home and couldn't speak for herself. And her home was being trashed by someone who was supposed to love her. Um, that's what we were fighting for that day and, and that's what we fight for every day.